Welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad, everybody. It's a beautiful day in southeast South Dakota, and Nala and I are working on processing firewood today. My dad's got some hackberry ling in, in rounds over at his place, and we're on our second trip going and getting those, splitting them and stacking them at our place to cure for the 25-26 heating season. wanted to tell you about a couple of things that we've got going on um, on the channel and with our family here. Fall is definitely winding down uh, for us, uh, the kids. Their activities, uh, tackle football, flag football, and uh, and soccer, we all had real successful and really fun seasons. Um, I will give the game ball, though, to Milo um, and his team. They they learned a lot. They had a lot to learn, and they, they took it up, and they rose to the challenge. Um, they had a really good uh, kickoff to their season, their, their last game of the season, and their postseason wasn't so great. But you know what? They had a lot of fun, and they learned a lot of things. So uh, kudos to them. <clears throat> Then with the uh, visitor from the East project, uh, that Kato SD40-2, uh, just had our first live stream with with uh, with that and correcting some electrical trouble with that. Um, wanted to uh, point that out to you, and uh, probably by the time you see this, the uh, there'll be uh, more than one or two episodes out there. So hope you check that out. I'll put the uh, uh, card for the uh, <clears throat> for the playlist up here in the corner here for you. So regarding firewood, our, our firewood season is progressing slowly. Um, would have some video for you, but we had an unfortunate incident with that a couple of weeks ago, and we lost that video, and that's kind of a long, boring story, but uh, one for another time. Uh, we'll have some for you today. Uh, we still have a goal in mind of getting that, uh, that all that firewood done and stacked uh, for the 25-26 heating season, getting that cured, getting that starting to get cured uh, before the train show here this year on the 18th and 19th of uh, November. And speaking of which, uh, check out the uh, <clears throat> the uh, promo video that Milo and I did here a week or so ago for uh, the train show. We we're down at the Sioux Valley Model Engineers Society HO scale layout, and we took some shots of that and uh, gave you some information on the train show itself. Hope you'll check that out over here in the uh, uh, my shopping list for the uh, train show. I'm kind of conflicted actually as to what I my priority should be: uh, getting YouTube footage, getting some interviews. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of old friends there to visit with, and I do have a short shopping list. Uh, one of the items on that list is the uh, that Tangent ICC caboose. I want to show that to you. Uh, I see Burr Stewart had a uh, quick, quick bit about it on his channel here a few weeks ago. I'd like to get a hold of a couple of them and uh, for use on the Black Hills and Eastern Model Railroad. Speaking of which, uh, the Black Hills and Eastern Model Railroad, uh, my HO scale layout, I haven't done with a whole lot with that. Been busy on making YouTube content um, from locomotives and custom builds and firewood and all that kind of thing. Um, we'll probably get into that more after the train show winds down and uh, Thanksgiving winds down. We get into December, of course, there's going to be Christmas activities, but I really do hope to get some time on that and show you kind of what we're doing with, with, the, uh, with the layout. But in the meantime, you can take a, take a look at uh, some of the uh, videos that I've done on the layout update here in the corner. Since uh, fall is starting to wind down and we're starting to look towards winter, um, we need to get the uh, John Deere 445s prepped. Uh, my dad's got one and I've got one. Uh, we need to drop the mower decks off, get service done on those, and get uh, snowblowers mounted on those, uh, on those units. Uh, so we're ready to go for winter. Um, we'll probably show you that here after a few weeks. Um, I don't know when exactly we're going to get to that, um, but the, I know that the days on the weekends are, are at a premium at this point, and there's not much sunlight um, after work in the evening. So we might have to do that by, uh, by garage light for you. We'll see. Um, anyway, stay tuned for details on that. Uh, hope you enjoy some scenes from us uh, processing firewood today. So here I am unloading uh, pallets. We uh, feel it's important to stack the uh, split wood on uh, pallets to keep the airflow to the pile. Uh, we don't use tarps, at, at least during the curing phase anyway. Um, I use a tarp here when we bring it up to the house to burn for the winter, um, right out next to the house, and we don't want uh, snow and rain getting in then, but uh, we like to let the uh, sun and wind do its job out here in South Dakota. That's two elements that are very good for curing firewood.
So Nala and I are done loading that second load of, uh, well, it ended up being a mix of uh, maple and hackberry over at my dad's place. We're waiting for the girls to get out of school. We'll take them home, dump that firewood off, get it stacked, and that'll probably be it for the day. So especially as I'm building this rick rack here on the end here, keep in mind that these logs all have a fit to them. And we're stacking crossways up and down here on the very end. And then as we go up, we're piling against on the main part of the stack here so that we balance the stack as we go up and kind of keeping in mind basically kind of tapering in as we go up and then um, we've got a slope down here as well so we have to kind of keep So I'd like to tell you that this is how, how the weather always is here in Southeast South Dakota. You guys know that's not the case, but man, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? Holy moly, look at that. The, uh, the barn is not on our property. We have an acre here, um, we have just enough to dry firewood, have some fruit trees here, have some uh, shovel duck trees, and that's about it. Um, but uh, man, we have a little slice of heaven here. We've lived here nine years. The sunsets really don't disappoint here. This is incredible. Here's where we're going to pull the pin for this episode. I hope you like this update. I hope you like the sunset. Leave us a comment below. Subscribe for more. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one.